Hi everyone, I'm Talha and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a rental income spreadsheet in Google Sheets. With the help of a rental income spreadsheet in Google Sheets, you can easily manage your total income per month, total expenses per month, and then calculate your total gross income annually and your net income annually. You can enter details such as your rent per month, other charges that you're uh, charging your tenants, such as charges for pets mm -hmm. or other charges that you may have, and then calculate a total income per month. Then you can add different expenses and use different formulas to calculate all of these expenses and incomes automatically. You can also add other property related info, such as the market value, the deposit you're holding for your properties and the deposit adjustments from the maintenance costs or other charges in the property. So let's have a look at the portfolio I've created right here. This is a rental income portfolio with the properties arranged right here from property one to property five and the income expenses and the report arranged over here to the left. So here I have entered the rent per month for property one and then the rent per month for property two and so on for each property. And then I've entered other charges such as pet charges or any other miscellaneous charges that you're charging your tenants. And then I've added a column right here for the total income per month. We're going to use a formula for this. And then we have the expenses. Over here I have entered maintenance, insurance, legal fees and consultant fees. You can always add a different expense that you may think is suitable for your property just by going here and right clicking and clicking on insert one row above. And then you can add a different expense that you think is suitable. Apart from that, after we've calculated all the expenses and the incomes per month, we can use this annual report table to calculate the annual income using formulas, the annual cost, the annual gross income, and the annual net income after deducting taxes. So let's go and see how it is used. Let's use a formula to calculate the total income per month. So for the first property, we're going to say equals sum B4 B5. We're going to take the suggestion. And as you can see, this 1400 is the sum of our rent per month and other charges, which is 1400. And then we're going to drag the formula forward to all other sales. So there we have the total income per month for each property. Next, we're going to calculate the total expense per month. We're going to use the same formula equals sum B9 to B12. B9 contains maintenance and B12 contains consultant fees. So this formula right here is adding all of these values right here. So let's drag this forward and apply it to all other properties. And there we have it. Now let's calculate the annual income. For the annual income, we're going to use the multiply formula. Multiply. And the first factor is going to be our annual uh, monthly income multiplied by 12. Close the bracket and press enter. That is our annual income for property one. So let's drag it forward. And that's the annual income for each property. Now let's calculate the annual cost equals multiply. And then we're going to select the total expense per month and multiply that by 12. Then we're going to drag the formula forward 
and that's the total cost per year for each property. Then we're going to calculate the annual gross income by deducting our annual cost from our annual income. So for that we're going to use the minus formula equals minus and deduct B16 from B17. Uh, B17 from B16, sorry. After we've done that, we're going to drag the formula forward to all of the cells and apply it there. So that's our annual gross income for each property. Now, for the taxation plus other costs, let's just calculate that as 25% of our annual gross income. So, we're going to use the multiply formula. It can be anything, the percentage can be anything that is specific to your property. Over here, we're just going to use 25% as a placeholder. So that has amounted to 3399 and let's drag that forward and that's the taxation for each property. Next let's calculate the annual net income meaning our annual gross income minus the net income. For that we're going to use the minus formula and we're just going to minus cell B19 from cell B18 and there it is. Let's drag the formula forward and apply it to all of the cells and there it is. That's our annual net income for each property. Next we have our other property related info. Here you can enter all info that you have on hand such as the market value, the deposit held or the deposit adjustment since these values can fluctuate and depend on different cases. So let's try and change the rents per month for each property and see how the sheet reacts. We've changed this, let's change this to 2500, this to 3000 this to 3500 and this to 4000. Now that we've changed all of these values, you can see that the annual gross income and the annual net income has changed. Right here we can create a total overall annual income section. This section will calculate the total income we've generated from all five properties. So let's click on enter equals sum and then select our annual net income for each property and press enter. And there it is. That is our annual net income for all properties combined. Net income, right? And that's it. That's how you create a rental income spreadsheet. A link to this spreadsheet can be found on our website spreadsheetpoint.com. And you can download the template to use it for yourself or you can take inspiration from this sheet right here and create one of your own. Thanks for watching this video.